morning. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late here just trying to get on. Um, it took a little bit longer than I thought, so sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. But just thought that I would uh, talk a little bit about one of the readings that we aren't going to read this week, but um, we've only been reading one of the, the two selected readings along with the Psalm and the Gospel. Um, so we won't be reading this on Sunday and I'm not spoiling anything for you uh, that you might be looking forward to. But um, I also just uh, want to talk a little bit about what it's like to, um, to love each other. <laughs> but let's start out with a prayer and then we'll hop right into this devotion. Let's pray. God, thank you for today and thank you for this opportunity to be together. We ask that you show up now with us um, so that you can fill us up with something good, with your word, with your will, uh, with your love, so we can go out into the word world and do what you have called us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I was just thinking about um, the kind of life that we're called to live and it's and it's all about love, right? Uh, it's something that Pastor John and I preach about a lot I and mean, I think that's just because it shows up a lot in the Gospels and it shows up a lot um, in the liturgy and it's just, you know, what it means to be uh, a Christian is to, to love God and to love each other. So we talk about that a lot and then um, I remembered that my aunt gave me this shirt. I, I heart Jesus. I love Jesus. And uh, she said, if you're going to be doing jammies with Jesus, you should have some jammies uh, that, you know, show that you, you love Jesus. So she got me this shirt and some nice pants that match with it. Uh, these are Jesus jammies for jammies with Jesus. Um, but this is a fun shirt. And, uh, and I thought about what, what kinds of reactions I might get if I wore it out in public, not just um, as pajamas at home in bed, but how, how would I get any reactions out in public? And, uh, you know, in the, in the South, a lot of people love Jesus. So it might be kind of shirt that people are like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Where'd you get that? Where can I get one? Um, there are a lot of people in our community who also love Jesus. So it might not get much of a reaction, but um, how do we show people that we love Jesus? You know, there's that old him they will know we are Christians by our love um, and so that's that's a pretty good way to show people that we love Jesus is by loving others but how do we go out into the world and even if people don't know okay that person is a Lutheran and they go to University Lutheran Church how do, will they know that we try to live our lives a certain way or how would they know that um, we put Jesus first do they need to know that but what do they know about us um, that says to them, you know, maybe this person is a person of some kind of faith. And uh, I think one way that we show people that we love Jesus is by saying to them, I love you. And so on this shirt, you know, it says, I heart Jesus. But um, one way that we show people that is to go around saying, I heart you. We could replace Jesus' name here by saying you or uh, who's on here? Marion, Aaron, Jan, Eileen, you know, I heart you. Uh, and that's one way we can go around saying that we love Jesus by showing people and telling people um, and living a certain way so that people know that we love them. So what, what does that mean in our lives and, and how can we go around and do that more often? Not just by wearing a cool t-shirt, but with our actions. Uh, so the passage I want to read today is from James, and we've been, uh, it's been an option for the reading the past several weeks, and it's kind of, um, when I do some commentary reading, uh, people often talk about the James reading because it, you know, they, they try to make these readings fit each other. That's why they're in the lectionary on the same weeks. But I think the whole book of James kind of deals with how do you live a Christian life and sometimes it gets a bad rap because it talks a lot about the certain practices that we can have or we we talk about the works that we might do in order to um, sustain or make our faith real in our lives uh, and as Lutherans we talk a lot about how we don't need works to be saved but we are already saved and it's because of our saving that we um, 
have gone and done good things. We don't do good things in order to be loved by God, but because we are loved by God, we go and do good things. And I, I don't think that that necessarily has to rub up against what James is saying here, um, because we can all understand that it is by our works and by our actions that maybe others understand God's love as much as we understand God's love. So this is just a little bit of um, James chapter 3, and we've read other parts of it in the lectionary recently, but we haven't been reading it in church. So go and read a little bit of James today if you want some inspiration for um, <laughs> Ken loves fried chicken. Thanks, Ken. I love that. <laughs> Me too, man. It's good stuff. I was thinking about Bojangles today for lunch, maybe, actually. Um, and so this is a little bit of James chapter 3. For every species of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species. But no one can tame the tongue, a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and Father. And with it, curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. As a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and brackish water, can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. It's a good um, and albeit, you know, uh, condemning passage at times. But the, it's true, um, from our lives we can do both good and bad things. And on any given day we are doing both things that are for the benefit of the whole world and things that are not for the benefit of the world, but just ourselves or nothing even. Um, and so how should we live our lives in a way that show people that we love Jesus or that we love each other? And those are questions that we might ask before we do certain things, before we wake up and get out of bed in the morning so we can see what today has to hold. Um, there might be questions we ask afterwards <laughs> when we make mistakes. That same passage of James talks a little bit earlier about all people making mistakes. Um, how do we live our lives so that people know that we love Jesus? Questions to think about today. Um, if you have any stories, that's good too. Any comments about what what you try to do when you want to make a difference in the world. But just think about that as we go into this weekend. Let's pray and then we'll go about our days and see what today has to bring and what opportunities we have to love today. Let's pray. God, thank you for all of the love that you have put in our hearts, the different ways that our lives have been um, benefited and buoyed and sustained by your love. We ask that your love encourage us and inspire us and empower us and challenge us to go out into the world to show it to others. And we ask for the patience and the knowledge and the practice to do good things in this world, um, to make choices in which we are able to pour out fresh blessings instead of any unwanted cursings. And thank you for the inspiration that we receive from your word each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, and we will have a good day, I hope. Um, and I'll see you guys on Sunday, either in person or online. And uh, go Tigers tomorrow. Stay away from Clemson if you don't want to be in big crowds. <laughs> um, watch on TV if you don't want to be stuck in traffic, that kind of thing. And uh, hopefully people are, are safe tomorrow. God bless you guys. See ya.